Hey everyone, it's Sparkle Girl 00 and this video is a review on the Carolina Storm Express wheel. So I've had quite a few people ask me about this wheel and just what I think of it, so I thought it would be a good idea to do a review on it. So this wheel is called the Carolina Storm Express wheel and um, they also have the Carolina Storm bucket wheel for sale and they come in some like translucent colors and they have sparkly colors and everything. And these are like three and a half inches uh, wide and the uh, bucket wheels are like five inches wide so they're quite a bit wider but you can purchase those if you want to. Now these wheels aren't wheels you can go into like a pet store and get. They are homemade wheels. As you can see um, the wheel itself I believe is made out of a bucket and um, behind it as you can see right here is a rollerblading rollerblade wheel with some screws. Uh, some PVC pipe and these screws that put, to, put it together. Now the dimensions of this wheel, it is um, about 10 and a half inches in diameter and the running surface of the wheel is about 4 inches. Okay now for the review and the pros and cons. Um, I absolutely love this wheel. I've been through the comfort wheel, I've been through the flying saucer, and I've been through the rodent wheels even, and this one is definitely by far my favorite. Now this is a great wheel for Syrian hamsters, and I believe, believe it's great for dwarf hamsters too. Uh, I don't have dwarf hamsters, so I don't have any experience with this wheel on them, but I know for sure it works great with Syrian hamsters. So the first pro of this wheel is the fact that it is completely silent. You cannot hear a thing. I've been through all the wheels, and um, the flying saucer is pretty silent too, but this one, you literally cannot hear anything except your hamster's feet. Even when I get close, I can't hear anything. It's that silent. So if you have trouble sleeping when your hamsters have loud wheels, or you just don't like loud wheels, period, like I don't, I don't think anybody does really, then this is definitely the best wheel as far as silent, as far as being quiet in my opinion, definitely. The next pro would probably be the fact that it's super easy to clean. Um, you just uh, put like your soap or your vinegar and you just wash it out and it stays in the bucket and you just rinse it out. Um, I don't really recommend you get all these wet just because of rusting, I wouldn't do it. Um, but you can easily just clean this part out. I mean, it's not going to hurt it. I would just dry it off when you're done. But I just clean out this part, and it is so easy to clean compared to, like, the wooden wheel. One other great thing I absolutely love about this wheel is it is completely adjustable. This um, screw right here comes off, and you can bring it down to this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one, and you can bring it up or down. They also come in a lot of fun colors. They have purple, hot pink, they have green, they have blue, and I think they have another color. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, just check on their website. Um, and I forgot to say, these wheels are priced at, uh, I think $20 a piece is what I paid for these. And it's not too bad considering the quality and they're just, they're just awesome wheels. I absolutely love them. So the last two pros I can think of is one, it kind of turns like this if you want to turn it any way you want to and it also can connect to a wire cage if you want it to you can just take this off and take the PVC pipe away and you can even buy the wheel cheaper without the stand if you do want to connect it to a wire cage so yeah those are all the pros I can think of right now now for the cons I really don't have any cons that I can think of well I do have one the only thing that I can really think of is if you can see right here, let me see if I can get the camera to focus, um, it just has this little grip that has like one gallon, it used to be a bucket, that's why I thought it's a bucket because it has these measurements, but um, other than that there's no grips on the wheel so my hamsters had a little bit of a hard time at first um, getting used to the wheel, they kind of slipped around and had a little bit of a hard time getting a grip of it. Um, they caught on really fast so it's not really it could be something depending on the hamster you have, but they caught on really fast and they, they go really fast now without any problem, so yeah. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about this wheel. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment in the comment box down below and I will try my best to answer them. Um, yeah, that is the review for the Carolina Storm Express Wheel. 
Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.